respond to an incredible story about a city news reporter by the name of Janella Massa. She knows how to deliver news stories, but she recently became the news story and internationally as Canada's first anchor to wear a hijab. And Janelle joins us this morning live from Toronto. Good morning to you. Hi, Jill. How are you? I'm great, great. Uh, great to see you. And this is really incredible how this has taken hold. Um, so let's find out your reaction to the response that you received following uh, anchoring the news and then you earned international attention. It really took fire from there. Yeah, my phone hasn't stopped buzzing for the last week and a half. I didn't expect it to. I mean, I kind of knew it was significant and I tweeted about it right after, but I didn't expect it to go everywhere the way that it did. Um, and the reaction has been overwhelmingly positive. People who have said, oh, wow, we haven't done this in Canada. You know, it's about time. Or people who've been watching my work and say, hey, great for you. You know, it's a career milestone. Um, and, and from young people who, who are finally seeing people who look like them on TV. I, you know, growing up, I never saw anyone look, who looked like me on TV. And that, that, you know, it's really tough because it tells you where you do or you don't belong. So I think it's about time that our, our newscasts reflect our cities. And Toronto is one of the most diverse cities in the world. So it oh, makes sense. Uh, of course. And uh, yeah, speak a little bit more about that and the opportunity that you have now to be a role model. And so obviously you're comfortable in the role of being a journalist. Are you comfortable in the role of having, you know, the opportunity to make a change for young girls who are watching you. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that my number one goal has always been to be a good journalist and to be the best journalist that I can be. That's the measuring stick that I want people to use when they look at my work. Um, I don't want anyone to ever say, oh, she doesn't belong there. Oh, it was, a, you know, it was a token hire. And, and you know, maybe, you know, if, it, if, if I ever was hired for that reason, um, I still want to earn my place. Um, and yes, I think that it is important to see uh, um, our communities reflected in, in the, the stories that we're telling. I, I think that um, you know everything that we do if you know if you're black if you're white if you're a man you're a woman um, all of those things color your experiences all of those things color your opinions and you bring those experiences to the newsroom so it's important that we tap into all of those diverse communities absolutely and uh, to that point I'm gonna read a tweet that you posted just five days ago and so much has happened since then but you posted after two crazy days off I'm back at work today hoping we can start to focus on the stories I tell instead of what I'm wearing how close do you think we are to uh, you know not having those visual cues mean the things that they do today I mean, you know, even if I didn't wear a hijab, I think that as a woman, often, and I'm sure you know this as well, working in news, um, people get caught up on talking about how we're dressed, our makeup, uh, how our hair is, and sometimes I really just want to say, hey, what about my story? You know, mm -hmm. what do you think about that? Um, I'm sure you've dealt, I hear dealt you. with this as well. I got tweets about my chipped nail polish once. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, I mean, I think that there, we've still got a long way to go uh, in terms of actually focusing on the stories that we're telling, how we're telling them, and I'll happily take criticism for my work if I people think think uh, I'm not being fair or I'm uh, you know, not asking the right questions, I'll take that feedback. I love that. I second that motion. I'm with you on that point. Uh, what has been the most outstanding moment, the most heartwarming thing for you in the last handful of days? Um, you know, young people coming up to me and saying it really means a lot to see you. Um, you know, representing for us and showing, you know, what Muslim women can do and be because there are a lot of misconceptions about us and a lot of discussion about us and we're not often involved in those discussions. So here I am just doing my job. I'm not talking about my religion or, or, or anything. I'm just doing my job, but I happen to be wearing a scarf while doing it and sometimes just being in the room uh, does a lot. Well, Janella, we appreciate and are inspired by your story. Thank you so much for sharing some time with us this morning and we wish you continued success. Thanks so much, Jill. Thank you. Uh, pleasure to speak with Janella Massa live from Toronto, who's a city news reporter and uh, Canada's first anchor to wear a hijab on commercial television.